Hey there, I'm Courtney Barker. I've got the highlights from this week's BLK Queensland Premier Rugby. I'm here at Hugh Courtney Oval. Things are getting pretty exciting. It's ladies round. They're up there having a good time. But let's go around the grounds and check out the results of the week gone by. Chiefs hosted the Red Heavies at Yoku Road and put on a show for their loyal fans, winning 43 points to 21. West got over Bond in a close one, 16 points to 15. Brothers impressed against Sunnybank, winning 32 to 18. And Norse fought hard against an informed South, but went down 32 to 27. Jeeps got their best win of the season so far against Uni in the Halley Appleby Memorial Cup. The Gallopers started strong and after some build-up play, Mitch King ran a solid line to crash over. The try was converted and Marco Kotzer then went in for the home side second following a line-out. Jeeps scored again before the Red Heavies registered their first points for the Arvo through Reds player Dave McDooling. With the half drawing to a close, Jeeps scored two more tries with Stefano Hunt slicing through some soft defence. Michael Richards then crashed in on a dominant GPS scrum with a try of his own. University was first to score in the second half when prop Ruben Lelua crashed over. Before the two sides went try for try with this effort from the Jeeps replacement winger, the pick of the bunch. Uni's comeback wasn't enough, making the final score Jeeps 43, Uni 21. Stefano Hunt was the Masashi high performer for this week. The GPS fly half was influential for the underdog team win in the Halley Appleby Memorial Cup game of the round. West got up with their second win of the season over a fading Bond side. West scored first with a penalty, but it was Bond who scored the first try after a great counter attacking play. Gus Casavacatini touched it twice in quick succession before delivering this nice flick pass. It found Josh Foimano, who then passed it inside to Luke Evans, who was supported well. Evans then converted his own try. West kicked another penalty before hooker Mick Lee's strong run took him over the line for the visitors. West and Bond traded penalties in the second half. Crafty West halfback Tim Smith took a run from the back of a ruck to sneak between a couple of Bond defenders to get over. The kick was converted and West ground out a good win in front of their supporters. Final score West, 16, Bond, 15. Brothers' recent run of good form continued this week at Sunnybank. They got the win, 32 to 18. The two sides traded penalties early in the match. Mitch Felsman did it all himself against the run of play with a neat kick in behind the Dragons. He regathered to go under the posts. Brothers soon got another try, this time from a rolling maul, but it was then the home side's turn to go over. Matthew Faunati was the try scorer after a solid scrum from the Dragons pack set the platform. Brothers went into the sheds ahead on the scoreboard with the two sides both scored early in the second half. Tongan Thor, Taniela Tupo sealed the win for Brothers with this rampaging try down the touchline. Sam Green converted that one from the sideline, then kicked a penalty to take the final score to Brothers 32, Sunnybank 16. North pushed the Magpies hard, scoring five tries to four, but they were unable to come away with the win at Hugh Courtney Oval. The first try of the game went to South, when Simana Halifunua made the most of a scrappy play to dive over in the corner. The try was converted from the sideline, and South then kicked a penalty. North scored next, when Sean Minehan gave an unorthodox rolling pass away to Christian Satui, who got it over the line to take the home side into the sheds, trailing five to ten. It was all South in the first section of the second half, and Joseph Lalagavesi first over the line, finishing a classy backline play. South scored another from close range, then Stefan van der Welt finished off another slick backline play down the far touchline, and the Magpies opened up a 24-point lead. North then awoke from their second half slumber and rallied hard scoring tries at will. First up, Craig Hunt scored in the corner, then the Eagles drove over from a line out, and when Hendrik Turi ran from the back of a scrum and crashed over, it was game on. South then kicked their second penalty for the game, but the home side wasn't done yet. They saved their best for last by spreading wide from deep inside their own 22. Varessa Mataitini was cheered on by a vocal Ladies Day crowd before offloading to Craig Hunt, who ran it around under the sticks. Unfortunately for the home side, it was too little too late. Final score, 32-27. Well, we've seen plenty of movement on the ladder this week. East and Uni remain in the top two spots with 42 and 38 points respectively. Brothers have fought their way into third place on 36 points, jumping Sunnybank, who sit in fourth on 33 points. South are just outside the top four, sitting in fifth on 32 points. Bond are sixth on 29 points. 
Jeeps sit seventh on the 17 points after their big win, and West's win kept them close on 15 points. Norse round out the ladder in ninth place. Round 13 of BLK Queensland Premier Rugby promises another cracking weekend of club rugby. Brothers will look to consolidate their position in the top four when they take on Bond University. Jeeps and Souths will fight it out at Yoku Road. West will host Norths and it's a top of the table clash at Tigerland with East hosting the University of Queensland. If you can't get to a BLK Queensland Premier Rugby game, be sure to watch the live stream in high definition on www.redsrugby.com.au. Well, that's it for this week's BLK Queensland Premier Rugby Wrap. Thanks for checking in. Be sure to get out this weekend to have a great Saturday Arvo at your Premier Rugby Club to check out the stars of tomorrow today.